Hey Earth Signs, it's about that time for your love reading, it's about that time. So this video is going to be for my Earth Signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and this is going to be your love interest next actions towards you for the rest of November. Um, I already posted all the other signs, so you were the last sign to do. So if this reading doesn't resonate for you, definitely make sure you check out your other placements. Or you can book your personal reading through the link in my description box, which is my website. And if you'd like to book this exact service, it would be their next actions on my website. But I'm going to dive right in, you guys. I'm going to dive right on in. So my earth signs, who is your love interest? First off, who is your love interest? Let's see what's going on. Who is your love interest? They could have Aries placements. Is this somebody that you're walking away from? The Fool and the Eight of Cups. Who is your love interest? Someone who is finally giving up on the connection. Someone who wants to start new with you, really. But instead of starting new with you, instead of putting that effort in starting new with you, it looks like they're walking away. Why is that? I don't know. We'll see as I continue the reading, but... The Fool and the Eight of Cups. I'm not liking that Eight of Cups. Like, the Fool is cool. The Fool is cool. Because that could represent, you know, a new beginning in the connection. But that Eight of Cups, that lets me know that they may be starting a new beginning as in a new chapter of their life without you in it. I'm not liking that Eight of Cups. This person, why I heard um the song... What is it? Track Star by Mooski. She's a runner. She's a track star. Yeah. That could be the energy. Like they're always trying to run from the connection. They're always self-sabotaging the connection. I don't know. But I'm not liking that Eight of Cups. Tell me more about this love connection. What's the backstory? Tell me a little something something about this love connection between my earth signs and their love interests. Four of Pentacles. In the Knight of Cups reverse. Oh yeah, so someone here is always holding back. Heavy water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Someone who is literally always holding back. It's like even when they want to come towards you, or this could be you towards them, you know, flip the roles how it needs to be flipped. But even when they want to come towards you, even when they want to be vulnerable with you, even though they want to, you know, express how they feel and put in effort... It's like they hold back with that four of pentacles. They hold back. They hold back. Once again, that runner energy. Because why else are you self-sabotaging? Self uh-uh. I don't like that. I, don't, I, I already don't like how this reading is starting. I already don't like it. Mm -mm. So this may not resonate for everyone. This seems pretty... It don't seem too specific, but it seems specific enough where this is somebody that you are in separation from or things are ending well for my earth signs virgo capricorn taurus this love interest what is your next action towards them for the rest of what is it yeah i got a penny right here i'm good i just peeped up what is their next action towards my earth signs my earth signs love interest oh that knight of cups came out but it came out up right now so, before it was in reverse, now it's upright. Ciao. The chariot in reverse, Sagittarius energy. So, they're coming towards you. It's like, clarification on this chariot in reverse. It's either they're coming towards you or they want to come towards you. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, the chariot reverse clarified by the six of cups. All right. So it's like they want to come towards you or they will come towards you. But they feel like every time they try, something always goes wrong. It's like every time they try, it's like the connection never seems to move forward. So with the knight of cups, it's either they are going to put in effort or they're thinking about doing it. But once again, with that chariot in reverse, if it feels like a sudden stop. It's like they want to come towards you with effort, but they're not. They're stopping in their tracks from doing so. But with the Six of Cups, that's letting me know it's like it's because of something that always happens in the past. So maybe, you know, they always ended up messing up in the past. Like they always wanted to put in some effort. Let me move the camera a little bit. 
it's like they always wanted to put in some effort into the connection, but then some way, somehow, it, they always mess up their self. Or the connection always ends up ending. It's like, it's like a cycle. Like, every time they try and put in effort, or even when you try to put in effort, some way, somehow, it just doesn't work out. Some way, somehow, regardless of who's putting in the effort, it just seems to never work out. That's crazy. What else? What else? Is, are, are they going to have any, you know, actions towards my earth signs? What's their next actions? Because so far, it just looks like thinking. It doesn't really look like actions. It looks like them just thinking and being in their head. No, one card at a time, please. No, one card at a time. What is my earth sign's love interest next action towards my earth signs for the rest of November? Five of Cups. Hmm. Five of Cups, Queen of Swords. Yo, they're in they're gonna be in their feelings if they're not already. Yo, they want to come towards you so bad. That page of swords, I mean, page of pentacles, they want to come towards you so freaking bad. But the issue is, it's like, they feel like they can't. They feel like you would reject them. With that queen of swords, they feel like you will reject them if they were to come towards you with some type of effort. They feel like you'll deny them, you'll reject them. And just even the thought of them being rejected hurts them. So it's like, they're going to be holding it back. They're going to be holding back. The thought of being rejected, just the thought of it alone kills their ego. So they're going to be holding back from you. This is basically like a part two of the um, air sign reading. But not really. Like in the air sign one, it was something about, what was it? like time heals all wounds type of thing in this case it's like they're just simply fearful of reaching out trying to put an effort being vulnerable like they are fearful what the hell i don't like that like just say what you want to say what else is their next actions if there's any what else is their next actions towards my Earth sign viewers. King of Wands and the Page of Swords. Aw. The thing is, like, okay, you know, I'm asking what's their next actions. But with the King of Wands and the Six of Swords, it's like I'm picking up the energy of what they want to do, but I don't really feel like they're going to do it. Like, with the King of Wands and the Six of Swords, this person wants to just you know, like just spill their feelings, spill their heart out to you in hopes that it will bring you guys back together or it would mend the connection if you two are still together. Like they just want to spill their heart out with hopes that things will get better in the connection. Whether you two are separated and they're hoping to get back with you or if you two are just having issues in the connection and they just want to, you know, make things right with you. Regardless of which scenario it is, they want to spill their heart out. That King of Wands, they have so much love and passion for you and they just want to speak on it. But they're holding back because... They don't want to be rejected, for one. And for two, they just feel like it's going to end up like the past again. Like, I guess in the past, things just didn't really work out. It's like, no matter what, things didn't work out. So they're feeling that. They're like, damn, well, you know, what if I sit there and spill my heart out and nothing comes from it? Or we get back together, but then we end again. Like, they don't even want to chance that happening. Damn. Oh, let me go in with the fishbowl real quick. I haven't done this in a while. So I'm going to go in the fishbowl and we're going to see who your love interest is, like what zodiac sign or what placements they have. Now, keep in mind, I'm only picking three, three strips. So if your love interest sign doesn't come out, that doesn't mean this reading isn't for you. Like in the past, I had people comment like, oh, this reading resonated, but my person's sign didn't come out. So this reading must not be for me. That's not the case at all. It's just I'm only picking three, three strips. So don't stress too much about it. Let me get one more. Okay. So your love interest could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio placements. 
your love interest could be a Libra or have Libra placements, or your love interest could be a Capricorn or have Capricorn placements. Now let's go into what they want to tell you. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. What is it that my Earth Signs love interest wants to tell them, wants to share with them? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay. Let me pick this card up. All right, one more shuffle. Okay. So my Earth Signs, what is it that their love interest wants to tell them? What is it that their love interest wants to tell them? Thank God I dodged the bullet. Hmm. What else? One card at a time, please. I feel like they're gonna contradict themselves. I truly do. Oh, I wanna put a boy in your tummy. Where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? And then I want to be your official girl. So whether this, whether your love interest is a male, female, non-binary, they want to be your official partner. So thank God I dodged the bullet. I feel like your love interest is going to try to put on a front to make it seem like they're not bothered. They're not missing you. They're not stressing about you. Like I feel like this person is so damn prideful and their ego means so much to them that even though they're thinking about you heavily, even though they're desiring you heavily, even though they want to spill their whole heart and freaking guts out to you. They're going to play as if, you know, they're better than you. Like, and I mean better than you in a sense of, you know, like they're more loyal than you or a better partner than you. Like, I don't know. It's like they're going to try and paint this picture maybe on social media um, of like, you know, I dodged the bullet. Like, I was a good man or woman to them. Like, I, I I was good to them. Like, I dodged the bullet. They weren't that good for me. They were toxic for me. Like, I feel like they're going to put on this front like they dodged the bullet. Whole time, they're thinking about being in a relationship with you and having babies with you. <sighs> like, how how much more delusional could you be? How much more delusional could you be? I want to put in a... <laughs> I want to put a boy in your tummy. Ciao. That may be something that they want to express as well with that King of Wands. I'm telling you, it's like it's so much that they're holding back that they want to share that they're holding it back. But this is definitely somebody who can see you having their children. Who they can see themselves in a relationship with regardless of what they post or what type of front they try to put on. That first card, thank God I dodged the bullet. That lets me know that this person, they're going to put on a front. So they may try to make you feel less than or make you feel, you know, like they don't care. They're not missing you. They're going to try and put on a front. Whole time, baby, they want you and they want you to have their baby. All right, let me get some advice for my earth signs. Let me get some advice for my earth signs. That's so crazy. What advice does my earth signs need to hear regarding this love connection? What, what advice do they need to hear regarding... One card at a time, please. Thank you. What advice? Okay. Oh, oh, damn. The whole deck just flew out my hands. Alrighty. Always do your best. Do your best because you want to. You do your best when you are enjoying the action or doing it in a way that will not have negative repercussions for you. So you do your best when you are enjoying the action or doing it in a way that will not have negative repercussions for you. You do your best because you want to do it, not because you have to do it, not because you are trying to please the judge and not because you are trying to please other people. So I see in this connection, you might have gave into it or you might have just, you know, did the most to try and make it work out, not even because you really wanted to, but because you felt like you needed to it could be you know you you knew this person for so long that it just doesn't feel right being without them it doesn't feel right being with someone else or you know maybe this person has been through so much that you felt guilty for walking away or distancing yourself from them i don't know what it is about this connection but it's like you you sort of felt obligated to be with this person and that may be why you know earlier in the reading it was stating that 
it's a cycle where the connection just won't work out. It just won't work out. It always, you know, ends up becoming stagnant or ends up just simply ending. And it could be because, you know, you felt obligated rather than you actually wanting to be in this connection. You genuinely wanting to be in this connection. Now, I could be wrong, but this advice is for somebody. So it may not be for all of you. Like I said, you know, this reading is pretty damn specific. So it, this advice may not be for every single earth sign watching this video. But what I will say is it's going to resonate for, every, for somebody. It's going to resonate for somebody. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And once again, if you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box, which is my website. I have a bunch of different services on there. But if you would like this type of service, it would be their next actions. But this is the end of y'all reading. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, great night whenever you watch this.